Hi guys, welcome back. This is Maths 3000. Today I'm going to show you how to work out the overall percentage decrease. So before you start this, make sure you know how to increase and decrease uh, amounts using decimal multipliers. Okay, so let's have a look at example one then. So in year one, the price of a house goes down by 8%. In year two, the house price falls by another 5%. Work out the overall percentage decrease. So let's have a look at our decimal for our first year. So it goes down by 8%. So we need to take that 8 off 100%. So that gives us 92%. We now need to convert that 92% into a decimal by dividing by 100 which is 0 0.92 so that is our decimal multiplier for year one do the same for year two then so in year two the house price falls by another five percent so again take five off a hundred which is 95 percent divide this by a hundred that gives us 0 0.95 so that is our decimal multiplier for year two so to get our overall percentage decrease now we can now multiply these two together so if we get our calculator on this one so 0 0.92 times 0 0.95 that gives us 0 0.874 so we now need to just convert this back into a percentage so we can do this by taking this answer away from 1 so that gives us 0 0.126 and then times that answer by 100 to convert it into a percentage so that is 12.6 percent so that is the overall percentage decrease so let's move on to example two then so in year one an investment increases by seven percent in value in year two, the investment goes down by 20%. Work out the overall percentage decrease over the two years. Okay, so in the first year this time though, it increases by 7%. So since it's an increase, we have to add the percentage on to 100, so that's 107%. We then need to convert that into a decimal by dividing by 100. So that gives us 1.07 so that is our first decimal multiplier so if we do the same thing for year two so in year two it goes down by 20 percent so for a decrease we take the percentage off 100 so that is 80 percent so you can convert 80 percent into a decimal by dividing by 100 which is 0.8 so that is our second decimal multiplier and then we just multiply these two decimals together so 1.07 times 0 0.8 so if we put this on the calculator and that gives us 0 0.856 so we just need to now convert this back into a percentage do this by taking that decimal away from 1 so that is 0 0.144 and then multiply it by 100 and that gives us 14.4% so that is the overall percentage decrease so if you like this video, make sure you like and subscribe to my channel. See you next time. Bye bye.